Yo guys, my name is Omar, I'm a photographer, and in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make shit float. Wait, that sounds so wrong now that I said it. That did not sound like that when I was rehearsing it in my head. So when I say make shit float, I don't mean like shit. I, this is what I mean. All right guys, so for this tutorial, you're gonna need a camera, a lens, and something to throw up in the air. We're also gonna need a fairly decent amount of light, guys, so uh, I suggest we do this outside. All right, guys, so I just came outside. It is raining. I'm gonna go inside. <laughs> All right, guys, so if we wanna make something float when we're taking a picture of it, we need to set our shutter speed at a pretty fast shutter. The faster the shutter speed, the faster the photo gets taken, the slower the shutter speed, the slower the photo gets taken, and it looks all blurry and stuff, which is not what we want for this tutorial. All right guys, so when setting your shutter speed as shutter 1 500th of a second, you're gonna start to notice that your picture's gonna get a lot more darker which means you're gonna have to probably crank up that ISO. Now, don't crank it up too much because you're gonna start to notice that there is gonna be visible noise or grain or whatever. All right, I didn't explain what noise slash grain is. So, see all the stuff like everywhere, like the little kind of dotty, yucky stuff? That is noise grain. And you don't want that in your footage because it's just not pleasant to look at. So, Make sure you don't crank up your ISO too much, otherwise that's what's gonna happen. All right, back to the video. You're also gonna wanna keep your f-stop at like f2.8 because you wanna have that shallow depth of field when doing this because you're gonna be able to keep whatever you're throwing in focus and then have everything in the background blurred out. It's gonna look pretty sexy. All right, so got my camera, got this thing that I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna now try and find a appropriate place to do this picture because of, you know, lighting and stuff. So, uh, let's get on with the time lapse. I don't know what's harder, uh, trying to find a good place for lighting or trying to come to grips with the fact that I may actually end up dropping and breaking this. All right, back to the time lapse again. Success. All right, so I've decided to choose this area to do the picture because we've got this beautiful light from the side just shining right in. So when we bring the item, it's gonna be pretty well lit. Now, when doing this, you're gonna wanna make sure that you take the picture when the item is in midair, which is why having a shutter speed at like 1 500th of a second is pretty vital because once you take that picture, it's gonna take it really, really fast when it's in midair. So, you're gonna end up having a picture that'll look something like this. So once you've gotten the hang of it, you can start throwing other stuff too. Bonbons, calculator, phone, spaceship, you thought I meant real spaceship, that could be an idea, that could be an idea, right? So remember guys, fast shutter speed, higher ISO, floating shit, stuff, floating stuff, nice. <laughs> 